Ahoy there, this is Captain Horf with another game of Brogue. Alright, let's get started. I noticed the volume on my last video was kind of quiet compared to the old videos I had made, so I'm going to do my best to keep the microphone close and speak clearly. But if there is a big difference in volume between the two, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully my new videos will be the new norm now. Uh, I got a monkey. I'm going to try to keep him alive. I actually like getting a creature on the very first floor because... Oh, a health charm. That's fantastic. Alright, my allergies are acting up a bit today, so if you hear me mute the mic... Excuse me. Ugh, that's probably me sneezing. Well, that's not going to stop me. The show must go on. And we're just kind of ripping through this first floor. I'm very happy I found both a monkey and a health charm on the first floor. That's not a bad start. Alright, looks like we're done with this floor already. Uh, we didn't find a lot of stuff, but we found some really good stuff. So, let's go down to the next floor. Uh, apparently, we didn't find something very important which is excuse me um the key to that door I'm very keen to discover that oh god did that guy kill my monkey yeah my monkey's dead oh well monkeys are worthless there's no path for further exploration but I am just gonna manually peek out here again how strange. So, I don't really see where the key is. I wonder if I have a potion of levitation. Uh, that's probably what it is. So, might as well try to drink a violet potion. Oh, it's a potion of strength, though, which isn't bad. So, we can drink those real fast. And uh, once we find a better weapon, we'll be able to use it. Um, scroll of teleportation... Scroll of Shattering. I bet that was what would have gotten us to the correct place if we had used it in the correct place, which I don't think we did. So, yeah, the other thing I just realized is that there might be a secret door here. I'm kind of wasting food, actually, hunting so desperately for this treasure. So I might want to just uh, get a move on. I'm going to look for a secret door in the one other place where it seems like there's a gap and where there could be stuff. And since I've already committed so hard, I might as well search around here a bit and search around here a bit. Some in here. Alright, I'm giving up. And that's unfortunate because I wasted a lot of time. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Could not find the secret. Wasted about half a bar of food. Not really what I would recommend you do in your games, but I'm insatiable. When I see a potential treasure, I kind of have to fight for it. It's a real shame when it doesn't work out, though. Now, this is a game about resource management, and one of the most important resources in this game is food. Because you only get a finite amount. It's not like some of these other roguelikes where you can chop up the things you kill all day and eat them. And food isn't really that scary or important. This game is very stingy with food. It's okay though, we're going to try to make up for lost time by just ripping through this floor. And more incendiary darts. I have tons of incendiary darts. It's actually not a bad thing. And that's a sword, which I can immediately start using, because I already have a 14 strength. It's going to be a big boost to my DPS, compared to using the starter dagger. I think we're done with this floor. Yep. Alright, next floor. We just tore through that floor, so hopefully that makes up for some of the time we wasted. And I see a goblin. Just going to dispatch this thing. Well, I have an opportunity. Alright, we got two more potions we don't have identified yet. 
Oh, a recharging charm. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Come on. Gotta be way over there, over here, right? Killed a cobbled. I kind of mashed the move button a little too hard. Luckily, it was just a cobbled. All right, we explored the whole floor. We can uh, leave this floor now. So I think I've done well making up for some of the time I wasted. And what do we have? Oh, an ogre? On level 3? Yes. Now the thing about ogres, you'd think it'd be fantastic. And, I mean, they are good. But, they tend to be more aggressive, I've noticed, than some summons. So they'll just charge into a suicidal situation and you got to really keep a tight rein on them. Or you will lose them grab that and sometimes they'll just charge off and you really have to charge off with them if you want to keep them alive I guess that's a lot of pets though but ogres in particular just seem to have that trait whether it's perceived by me or actually part of the game that these things have their own little personalities uh, I definitely know some of them use tactics because it might just be whatever tactics they use when they're enemies, though. Like, the Dark Blade Master will definitely blink away when they're in big trouble, which helps make them easier to keep alive. Alright, now I screwed up a little bit, because I'm just going to go all the way around to re-explore this part. In fact, yeah. Try, I've tried to become... Alright, now i got to eat. I've tried to become a little more systematic about how I explore... So I don't have to double over the same ground I've already been over more than once. Another charm. A levitation charm. That would save me time, except... I want to protect my ogre. Oh god, don't die to these eels, ogre. It's not worth it. Those eels are some of the most lethal things on the early levels. I really hate those eels. Do you not see me? I don't think he saw me. And now he's gonna die. Yeah, it's a plus zero sword. Still good. Okay, we killed the sleeping centipede. Uh, that was a big risk I took, but I thought it was worth taking. Um, what do we have as far as... Okay, we got a lot of scrolls to identify. Let's start with the... Probably a scroll of enchantment. Um, you know, I wasn't thinking. Uh, what should I put it on? Maybe I should put it on my health charm? Mm, I don't know. I kind of don't want to dump it on a strength 14 sword. Um, I'll put it on my health charm. A health charm that recharges a little faster can't be a bad thing. Health is always good. Oh, where are you going to go now, son? Oh, that secret door. Alright, I'm getting a little tired of following this guy around. Um, an incendiary dart would pretty much uh, take care of him, but... Wow, a regular dart took care of him. What a weakling. What a 90-pound weakling. And there's a trap. And I'm aware there's a part over there that I missed. I was hoping there would be a way to get there from here. But it's starting to not look that way. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my pack is already too full. Alright. I'm kind of scared of just randomly quaffing potions because I really don't want to hurt my ogre. Um, scroll of identify. We can handle that. And actually, we can use that to identify some of these potions, I suppose. Like uh, the two moth potions. Those are potions of detect magic. I'm almost tempted to drink one of those, but let me just put on the scale mail. And then we'll drop, you know, I can drop this dagger I started with for sure. I can drop, uh, and drop this leather armor I started with. These, these, having a pet makes me just hesitant as hell to use resources. Good ogre. Just dealt with that shit for me. Alright, I'm gonna pop another scroll before he gets down here. Alright, negation. How about this one? Scroll or remove curse. Um, apparently something in here was cursed. I'm tempted to drink a potion that detect magic so I can know which one of these potions are good and which ones are bad. I might do that, actually. Actually, yeah, now that I'm on a fresh level, let's just do it, because that'll show me where the good and bad gear on this level is, too. I'll let the ogre finish the rest of these off, since I am apparently injured. Yeah, you know what? So apparently that's a bad wand. What would a bad wand be? There's a good ring. I'm very eager to see what that is, or at least put it on and start getting the benefits of it. It's a ring of clairvoyance. Honestly, not my favorite ring, but it has saved my ass a few times. When I do find a good weapon, I have four scrolls of enchanting. Or any good gear worth enchanting, really. I really would like to do a fighter build, although, oh no, my ogre is going to be dead meat if I don't get in there. And a vampire bat. Alright, I'm going straight for this totem. Hopefully my ogre can distract these things for long enough. And I can still, oh god. Alright, use the, the health charm. Oh, and the ogre killed the bat. Oh, beautiful. That was well done. See how fast this health charm is recharging. Eh, it's already at 4%. Not bad, I suppose. Cool, we know which potions are good and which ones are bad, so... After we're done with this floor, we can just quaff ID all the good potions. Is it dead monkey? Um... Could just leave that staff there. We can see at this point there's really no other treasure on this floor that's worth getting, so we can just uh, dive. Oh god, my ogre's fighting a jelly. Wow, he just handled the jelly. He said, no problem, boss. I handle that jelly. Ain't no thing. Alright, I want to play a little more carefully now. I really want this ogre to survive as long as possible. I would love to see him level up and get an intrinsic. I really don't want to fight vampire bats. Uh, unfortunately, he really does want to fight them. Wow, he just took out... Oh my god, the balls on this ogre. This, this ogre's got bigger balls than me. And I'm minus two strength. And I'm almost dead. And my ogre's dead. And I'm fatally poisoned. Oh. Oh. Could have handled that situation a little better. Oh. Alright, well. That's a video anyway. Sorry death to what was looking to be a promising run. Oh, well, I'm going to upload it anyway. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks again. And see you next time.